How do I use the collision tools inside of Unreal Editor? Well, here we are inside of Unreal Editor's generic browser, and we can see a static mesh that currently has no collision model. If we double click on it, we jump into the static mesh editor, and among other things, the static mesh editor allows us to apply a collision model to our static mesh. We can do this underneath the collision menu, but before we take a look at anything underneath this menu, let's jump in and turn on show collision. Now, currently we see nothing when we switch this on because we have no collision. Let's open up the collision menu, and the first thing we get is a basic 6DOP or 6DOP uh, simplified collision. And what this is, is essentially a box, like a bounding box that wraps around our object. Underneath this, we have three different 10-DOP simplified collisions, one for each of the primary axes. And a 10-DOP is really just a way to take our uh, bounding box and chisel off four corners of it. So probably the most easiest to visualize will be Z. And yes, we want to replace the one we had. And you can see where this originally started out as a box, and then we just chiseled away the four corners, and we end up with a cylindrical shape. Now, you can orient those collisions in each of the axes. So here, uh, here the same thing is oriented in X, which kind of works, but not really. Here it is in Y, again, sort of working, but probably not the best solution. And then, of course, in Z. So you'll kind of want to orient a tend up along the main primary axis of your shape. Now down from here we have an 18 dop, and this is just a way for us to chisel out even more edges. So we chisel away the first four edges like we did on a 10 dop, and then we chisel uh, the edges on the top and bottom as well. We can go down to 26 dop, which is even more complicated, just again removing as many edges as we can, trying to get the shape as precise as we can, but as we do this, our collision is becoming more and more complex of a shape. We have simplified sphere collision. So if we want this to kind of behave like it's uh, inside of a ball. And then we have the auto-convex collision. And I'm just going to kind of generalize this. What you have are three different sliders that you can use to control how complex your collision is. Where if you start really sliding these up uh, all the way and hitting apply, you'll not only... Oh, it's taken a second to calculate. There we go. So here is an extremely complicated collision. And you'll notice some color coding across the surface showing that you actually have... 78 different collision primitives bringing this together. This is way overcomplicated. You would never want it to uh, actually go this high. So in general, you're going to want to slowly build your way up and get away with the simplest collision you can. So uh, here's kind of a very simple collision. This would probably work. Though, generally speaking, if you're going to be using the... Uh, the auto convex collision, you're going to be better off creating your own collision surface inside of an exterior 3D application such as 3DS Max. So that is how you use the collision tools inside of the static mesh editor. Of course, you can uh, choose to remove a collision if you want and just take off what you have. That wraps up this How Do I video.